Welcome to Ferro's Technology. Today what we want to do is talk about creating tables of contents and tables of figures. So I'm going to call up a document where I've compiled various histories. And those histories are just one after another. And I, what I've done in order to make sure my table of contents works properly is to make sure that the title in each of those is heading one. Now I can use heading one, heading two, and heading three, and it, it keeps it in order for you so that if you have a hierarchy sort of order in your document where you have subheadings, the table of contents will let your reader see that those headings are in fact embedded underneath other headings for clarity. So now that I've made sure that my document is set up so that it has heading one for all of my titles that I want in my table of contents. All I have to do is put the cursor where I want to have it, the table of contents. I'm going to go to my references menu here and notice on the far left is table of contents. When I hit the down arrow here, there's a couple automatic tables of contents available for me. The only difference between these two literally is the word contents versus the word table of contents. I'm going to choose the brief one and just have contents be my uh, table of contents. So if I click on it, wow, that was quick. There's my table of contents. You can see that I have various compiled histories, which is my title. It's in heading one. Okay. It has uh, Isaac Gilson down here, which is heading one, and Sophia Gil Thompson Gilson, which is, was his wife, um, as, a, as another heading one. Then on page two, it points to Jeremiah Smith. And notice as I float my mouse over the, uh, the titles, it says, hold down the control button, and I can click and I can go to that page. So if I want to go all the way to the end of the page and go to James here, I can hold down my control button and click on it. And there's James, and it goes right back there. Now, I have a lot of pictures in my document. And sometimes the user, uh, when they're looking at a history like this, might want to just see a picture of a certain person or a picture of a certain place. Well, I have all of my pictures identified with, a, with what they call a caption. And the captions, you'll notice up here, is another style. And the caption style allows your table of figures to pick up all those captions, identify what page number they're on, and put them in your table of figures. Now, unlike the table of contents, the table of contents gave me an option to just choose the word contents or table of contents with it. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't have that in the table of figures. So I'm going to go down here to my TOC1, and the, I'm getting that by, if I float my mouse over over contents here, actually it's TOC heading. So what I'm going to do is come down here and use TOC heading and I'm going to call it table. Well, actually, I'm just going to call it figures to kind of match what I did with contents. And I'm going to hit enter. And now right under that is where I'm going to put my table of figures. Now, it is also on the references tab above here, but it is over here under the captions group. And so if I click hit, if I insert table of figures here, it'll show me the kind of layout that it's going to, going to find and going to put into my, into my document. There's a couple options that I need to check. First, I'm going to check the options here and the style I want it to pick up is the caption style. Notice that it's pointed to body of body text indent. Well, that would not be exactly what I want to do. I want to pick up the captions to all of my figures. So you could have an index of footers, an index of different headers here, uh, various types of things. This is a variation of a table of contents after all. So I'm going to say I'm going to look for caption and put that into my document. And there goes my table of figures. Now, notice that I have a couple pictures that were identified as captions themselves. Sometimes that happens when you caption a picture and you end up with a picture that has the caption style identified with the picture itself. 
I can quickly take care of that by holding down the control key and coming down here to the picture and notice it's this one and if I highlight that picture notice it says caption here now I'm going to have to deal with the fact that it's going to mess up where I have my picture and I'm going to need to fix that and I can show you what it does there it just puts it out here I have to tell it then to go ahead and word wrap again and then I can pull this picture right back up where it belongs and now it's set to normal and now if I go up here and I refresh right click update field update the table and notice that picture goes away I have another picture that did the same thing later in the document I can go fix that one too and so as I work through this so sometimes it's not perfect you have to adjust things a little bit as you've seen uh, but you notice that all of my pictures here are identified and I can right now just click hold down the control and click to go to any of those pictures in my document a good reference for people who are receiving the work that you've done to put together your document hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you join me again sometime thanks